This video is going to be a guide on how to play Nintendo 64 games on your Wii U for free. Now this is going to include how to set up the emulator and how to get the virtual Wii channel, but it won't include how to get ROMs because I'm not allowed to show you that. It also won't include the Wii U channel. That'll be a separate video just because it takes a couple different steps. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for that video coming out soon. So all you need for this tutorial is your homebrewed Wii U, an extraction software to extract the files we're going to download on our computer, and a computer to download the files. So let's get started. The first link is going to take you to this GitHub page where you can find the latest release of Not64. Just click on Mupin64 and it should download in the bottom left. Next link we're going to download the WAD for the virtual Wii channel. It'll take you to this Google Drive page, just click download and it should download in the bottom left. And now we need a WAD manager to download that WAD. If you already have one set up, you don't need YAM, but if you don't have a WAD manager, just click on the third link where it says YAM and it'll download in the bottom left again. So once you've downloaded all of those files, open up your SD card you use to mod your Wii U. Here's what mine looks like. So we're gonna open up that first one we downloaded, Mupin64, open the RAR file. So drag the apps folder onto your SD card root and then drag the not64 folder also onto the root. Close that WinRAR file. Now open the YAM download. Go into the first folder where and find where it says apps and just drag it onto your SD card. I already have it, so I'm just gonna replace the files. Close that RAR file. I, I already have a WAD folder, but if you don't, just right click, click new folder, and call it WAD, W-A-D. I already have one, so it won't let me make another. So open up that WAD folder, and just drag the NOT64 WAD into there. So it should look like this. I'm just going to take out the one. So open up the NOT64 folder, go into ROMs, and this is where we're going to put our Nintendo 64 ROMs. So I have a few backed up that I'm going to put into this folder. If yours are a zip file, we're going to have to extract it. So just highlight them all and press extract here. And it should turn into a Z64 file. That's what we need. So we're not going to keep these zip files. We're going to delete them so that they don't confuse us on the emulator. And it should look like this. That's how your ROM should look like. I think N64 and Z64 files work. But that's it for the SD card. When you're done, it should look like this. Go into your apps. You should see NOT64 with these three files. You should see WAD Manager in your apps folder with these files. And then on the root, you should have your WAD inside here, NOT64. And then you should see NOT64 folder with your ROMs and saves, just like that. So once that's all done, I'll meet you over on the virtual Wii on my Wii U. Once you're over on your virtual Wii, go to the homebrew channel and load it up. And once your apps load, we're looking for, where is it? Not 64 emulator for Wii. So load that up. And there we go, that's pretty quick actually. So once you're in here, that's great. We just need to make sure it works, so just quit and we should go back to the homebrew launcher and we'll get the channel installed. So back in your homebrew channel, find yet another WAD manager and load it up. I think most WAD managers are the same, but you need an original Wii remote to use it. Sometimes the Wii Motion Plus ones work, but mine don't, so I'm using an original Wii remote. So once you're here, just press A on iOS 249. A on disable, A on WSD slot, and it should show you a list of your WADs. So we're just going to click A on NOT64, and here you can install it, or if you ever want to get rid of it, you can uninstall it. So we're just press A on install, and it should be pretty quick as it's pretty small. And we're done, so just press A, and then click the home button on your controller, and it should take us back to the homebrew channel. And then let's go back to the system menu and see if the channel was installed. And there it is, not 64. 
So let's uh, let's go test to see if it works, and then go try out a ROM. So we loaded right in here. Now to play a game, all you do is load ROM, load from SD because that's where it is, and then just pick whatever one you want to play. So let's do uh, Banjo Kazooie. Press OK, and it'll bring you back to this one. But you'll see Banjo Kazooie on the left side. So now, all you do is press play game, and it should take you in. This is a very long intro. I always forget how long the Nintendo 64 intros were. <laughs> but as you can see, we are uh, we're playing Banjo Kazooie now. Now I think the best way to play would be a Wii Classic controller or a GameCube controller, but you should still be able to play with a Wiimote and Nunchuck. But anyways, that's it for the video. Remember, if you want to get the Wii U channel for Not64, uh, subscribe and keep your eye out for that video. If you found this helpful, please leave a like, it really helps me out, and subscribe if you want to keep updated with uh, new tutorials for the Wii U and the Wii. Uh, if you found this really helpful, you're always welcome to donate using the super thanks below the video. But anyways, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Take care.